Hello, I am Seema and welcome to part 15 of the chapter Electrochemistry. In this video, I am going to tell you about the variation of conductivity and molar conductivity with concentration. When does a solution conduct electricity or why does it start conducting electricity? If we take pure water and we pass electric current through it, it does not have as many ions present in it in the form of H positive and OH negative to carry the current. So it is really a kind of a poor conductor of electricity. But when you add an ionic compound to it, the water starts conducting electricity. Why? Because these ions or the ionic compound, it dissociates into the ions and the ions act as the charge carriers. And since they carry the charge, they carry the electric current. As you go on increasing the concentration of the ionic compound, conductivity goes on increasing. It is simple to understand. As the ions go on increasing, the number of charge carriers is going on increasing. And therefore, with an increase in concentration, conductivity increases, right? So we first talk about conductivity and we say that conductivity decreases with a decrease in concentration or the opposite. It increases with increase of concentration for both weak and strong electrolytes. Whether you take a weak electrolyte or a strong electrolyte, if the number of ions are increasing in the solution, conductivity is definitely increasing. This is because the number of ions per unit volume carrying the current decreases in the solution. We are talking of decrease since conductivity decreases with decrease in concentration. And why does it happen? Because the ions present per unit volume also decrease as the concentration decreases. And that is responsible. Less ions is responsible for less conductivity. Now, conductance is represented by G and it is equal to kappa, which is conductivity, into area upon length. If the area of cross section is one square meter or one square centimeter, if you're talking in terms of centimeters, then one square centimeter. If you're talking in terms of meters, then one square meter, if it's a unit uh, area. And the length is also a unit. Then you have one upon one here. In that case, you can define conductivity to be equal to the conductance of a solution when the area of cross section is one meter square or one centimeter square and the length is also a unit length which may be one meter or one centimeter. So if area and length are unity then the conductance is equal to conductivity. Now what about molar conductivity? How is molar? We have understood that conductivity always increases with increase of concentration and decreases with decrease of concentration. But in the case of molar conductivity, we see the opposite of this. As you increase the concentration, molar conductivity goes down. So let us understand why is this the behavior of molar conductivity opposite. When you want to find out the molar conductivity, Molar conductivity is represented by lambda m. We've studied this in the previous video. It is equal to kappa area upon length and it is equal to kappa. If you really look, this thing seems to be the same. But what's the difference in molar conductivity? When we say molar conductivity, it means that one mole of the solute is present in the solution. And the conductivity of the solution when it has one mole of solute. Now, if the solution is dilute, then one mole of solute will be present in a larger volume. And if it is concentrated, one mole of the, sol of the solute will be present in a smaller volume. So if we take a conductivity cell and the conductivity cell has a length which is one unity, that is either it is one meter or it is one centimeter depending on which unit you are using for measuring length. So it is of unit length, then to have molar conductivity, that is to have one mole of the solute, if the solution is dilute, the area of cross section or the thickness of the cylinder, which acts as the, uh, as the conductance, uh, conductivity cell, that increases. The area of cross section increases for a dilute solution and for a concentrated solution, you will use a conductivity cell with a lesser area. 
but the length we are deliberately on purpose we are keeping it unity we are keeping it as one so we say lambda m is equal to kappa area upon length which is equal to kappa when when length is equal to one and area is is varying area is a and in this case we can say area is equal to volume or we say area that contains and the total volume should be such that it contains one mole of the solute so it has the length that is one but the area of cross section of the cylinder which is acting as the uh, conductivity cell that area is such that it occupies the entire volume which has one mole of the solute in it so since the length is one if i multiply this entire value by length upon length what will happen area into length is volume what is area into length it is volume and length into length since length is one length into length is one square which is nothing but one so we can write that assuming that we take the length to be in the numerator and the denominator lambda m becomes equal to kappa into volume it can also be written as kappa into volume where area into length is volume and length into length which is one is one and therefore we ignore it so it becomes equal to kappa into volume now molar conductivity increases with decrease in concentration in order to understand this let us see what happens when concentration increases i told you that we are going to keep a unit length the conductivity cell is going to be of unit length if the concentration is uh, low the volume increases right if the concentration of the solution is low then one mole of ions would be present in a larger volume so the volume would be more that is the area of cross section would be more so if volume would be more then as volume increases molar conductivity increases and when is volume increased when the concentration is low when does the volume increase when concentration is low volume increases when volume increases molar conductivity increases so molar conductivity increases with decrease in concentration as when you decrease the concentration volume increases for decreased concentration it has been found that the decrease in kappa that is conductivity remember what did we discuss earlier that conductivity always decreases with decrease of concentration that means kappa will always decrease with decrease of concentration and increase with increase of concentration but molar conductivity why both of these are going to show opposite behavior whenever you change the concentration when you decrease the concentration the value of kappa decreases but the value of v increases and the increase or the change in volume is so much greater than the change in the value of kappa that it is the effect of volume which shows the the net effect would be that of the volume and therefore that is the trend that you would see which means that whatever is the value of kappa let us say that you decreased you increased the no sorry you decreased the concentration if you decrease the concentration the value of kappa that decreased let us say decreased by a value of 2 and if you the increase in volume in order to adjust that decrease in concentration is about 6 times so on the whole what happened 6 minus 2 is 4 on the whole there is an increase of 4 so as the concentration decreases the value of molar conductivity increases because this is 2 but this is 4 so this is the effect of that this this is since it is decreasing in the case conductivity is uh, decreasing as you decrease the concentration so this will be a negative value it decreases by 2 but this increases by 6 So on the whole the effect would be of the volume so we say molar conductivity increases with decrease in concentration as the volume increases for decreased concentration it has been found that the decrease in kappa 
on dilution is more than compensated by the increase in volume. The increase in volume is far, far more and therefore that has a greater impact. Also, we see that kappa is equal to G star, that is cell constant upon resistance. And we know that kappa is cell constant upon resistance. I would urge you to watch the previous videos when I explain this to you. And then we studied that lambda m, that is molar conductivity, is equal to kappa upon the concentration. So if you look at this relation itself, you get an idea how is concentration going to affect molar conductivity. As you increase the concentration, which is in the denominator, automatically it indicates that it would have a decreasing effect on the molar conductivity. And as you increase the concentration, uh, sorry, decrease the concentration, the denominator decreases and therefore lambda m increases. But when we talk of this, we are not really talking of the effect of uh, kappa. But on the whole, whatever is the change in uh, concentration, since we are using the conductivity cell with unit length and the area of cross section is going on changing, the volume is changing. So it is basically the volume which causes the change in the property. So molar conductivity, it increases with decrease in concentration because it increases with increase in volume. When you decrease concentration, the volume increases. So now we can physically define molar conductivity. And how do we do that? At any concentration, the molar conductivity of a solution would be defined as the conductance of that electrolytic solution, which is kept between electrodes which are unit length apart. And, but they have an area of cross-section A, and that area of cross-section is large enough to hold one mole of the electrolyte. So I just read this, therefore physically at a given concentration, lambda m can be defined as the conductance of the electrolytic solution kept between electrodes at unit distance, but with area of cross-section A large enough to contain one mole electrolyte. Now there is one more term that I would like to introduce before I wrap up this video. When the concentration it approaches zero, which means when the solution is very, very, very dilute, it is so dilute that the concentration approaches zero. There's the solvent is so much and the solute is so little that it is approximately equal to zero. At that time, the conductivity of the solution is known as limiting conductivity. So when concentration approaches zero, lambda m, that is molar conductivity, is called limiting conductivity. Why? Because the volume would, if the concentration is so low, the volume would increase so much that lambda m would become, it cannot go beyond that. So we call it, it is the limiting conductivity. It cannot go beyond that. And this limiting molar conductivity is written by the symbol lambda naught m. We'll study about this in the next video. So with this, I wrap up today's video. If you found it helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, recommend it to your friends, and please keep returning for more videos on chemistry. Thank you for watching and bye-bye for now.